Hello friends, in my previous video, we had discussed about the enterprise structure configuration in SAP MMS 4 HANA. Unfortunately, there was some issue with the server and we could not complete the end-to-end -end enterprise structure configuration. So whatever it was pending, today I'm going to complete so that we can see our entire end-to-end -end enterprise structure configuration. So we had completed the definition part and in assignment, we had just, uh, we had just uh, started with this. And today we will complete the assignment activity and we will see the enterprise structure, how it looks like. So let's jump into the system directly. Yeah. Now, so what is the assignment it was pending? The assignment was assign company code to company. Assign plant to company code, assign purchase organization to company code, assign purchase org to plant. So let me tell you once again, assign company code to company is not part of the MM. It has to be done by the FI team, the finance team. But for practice, we require some financial information, some financial data. That's the reason we are defining company, company code and the assignment part. Rest of the activities are related to MM. Okay, now let's jump into the system. So first, let me get into the path. So yesterday I have shown you this path, SPRO. What is SPRO? SAP Project Reference Object. Then click on this, then click on SAP Reference IMG. Once you'll click on this, because we are working on enterprise structure, so click on enterprise structure. And if you want to define anything, if you want, if you want to add new plants, if you want to add new storage location, if you want to add new purchase organization, then go to the definition and you can create or add the new plant or purchase organization, whatever you want to define. If you don't want to create new one, just get into the assignment and you start doing your assignment. So let me show you the enterprise structure before completion of the assignment, how it looks like and after completion of the assignment, how it will look like. Okay, so click on this and now use this transaction code EC01 to check the enterprise structure. Press enter, then click on this structure tab, then click on navigation and just continue with this. And then now control F and search for your company code, whatever you have created. Okay. Yesterday we have created ADGB, right? ADGB. So if you have seen my previous video there, you might have seen this is the company code AD71 I have created for ADGB industry. So click on this. And now you can see this is how the company looks like. Sorry, this is how the enterprise structure looks like. So once we will finish our enterprise structure assignment, we will come back and we will check the complete end-to-end -end assignment of enterprise structure. So let's go back to the previous screen. So our assignment first, it starts with financial accounting. So whenever you will be getting any financial accounting, controlling these tabs, that means these are related to finance, not related to MM. Okay. So first activity assign company code to company as it has to be done by the FI consultant in the projects in the real time, but here nobody is there with us. So we have to do it. So let's click on this. And now here you can see COCD. COCD means what? Company code. Okay. So if you want to search your company code, click on position and enter the company code, which you have created. So this is my company code. And now I have to assign the company. So whatever the company you have defined. So if you can see your list of company, name or you can search from here or you can click on this binocular or control F and you can search your company name. So I have just entered ADGB and you can see this is my company. Okay. And then now click on save. So once you'll click on save again, it will ask what is your request number? Do you remember in my previous video when I was trying to create or trying to save any data, my request number was different. But this difference, this is different because my description was MM enterprise structure. Do you remember? Hope oh, it is clear to everyone. So what I will do now, because I have already created the request number. So no need to create the new one. So if you, so yesterday I shown you on my previous videos, if you have seen, if you want to, if you have, sorry, if you have already created, then you have to click on this own request tab. If you want to create a new request number, then click on this tab create request. So we are not going to create any request number, any TR number, any transport request number. So all are same. Okay. 
Now click on own request and we'll search. See, this is what I had created in my previous video. So double click on this. Now I can see this is my request number. So whenever you are going to save any configuration, remember you have to save in your proper request number, proper transport request number. What is the use of all these? We'll discuss in separate session. Okay. Once it is done, click on continue. So now you can see your data was saved. Now if you'll go back to your enterprise structure, navigation path or the view path, because just now I have assigned company code to company. That means the company code should be assigned to the company. That is how it should looks like, which is usually done by RF fighting. So if you'll refresh it, you will be able to see now this company has been assigned now. So company code to company assignment is done. Now, let's go back to the MM activities now. So now in MM activities, what, what we need to do? So just go back. So our MM organization structure assignment starts with assign plan to company code. So you can see plant we are creating, but company code finances can be creating. So until the company code will not be creating, we will not be able to assign plan to company code, right? So this is what assignment we have assigned plan to company code. So when can we assign plan to company code? When the company code will be created. So as of now for practice, we need to create, but in the real time, it has to be done. In the projects, it, had, it has to be done by the FI team. And whatever the company code they will create, they will letting us know or we part of the team, we should discuss together and we will get the information that what are the list of company codes they have created. And based on that, we have to assign our plant. Okay, so now we will start with assign plan to company code. Then we will go for assign purchase organization to company code and then assign purchase organization to plant. So these three steps we need to complete today to complete our end-to-end -end enterprise structure configuration in SAP MMS 4 HANA. Now let's get into the system. So to assign plan to company code, you have to click on logistics general tab. So under definition within this now click on assign plan to company click on this and here you can see cocd means company code plnt means plant so these are the existing company code and plant what uh, which are created in the system with the description and the company name we can see here now it is in gray mode remember if it is in gray mode system will not allow you to add or edit anything in the system so whenever you will be getting any screen with the gray mode go to inventories and in COCD, enter your company code, whatever company code you have created. Enter your company code. And in plant, you have to enter the plant, whatever plant you have defined. So as I know, I have defined the plant yesterday, ADP1. So I have entered ADP1. I had three plant. So now suppose I will enter all these three plant, ADP1, ADP2, and ADP3. So I have created plant here. Oh, sorry, I had created two plant. Okay, so I'll just use my two plants. Now, my plants are same. So in that case, what will be my company code? Your company code also will be same if you have only one company code. Sometimes when you will be working in the project, maybe there will be two company code and the plant also will be separate for separate company code. So based on your company code, you have to select your plant and you have to do your assignments. Once it is done, click on save. And if you just scroll down, you will be able to see the list of company codes. So save again. Then check your request number and continue. That is how you have saved now. Once it is done, now go back to the enterprise structure. Now let me refresh. So once I'll refresh this view or the navigation of EC01, I can see now the plant also assigned to the company code. If I will expand this, I'll be able to see that I have assigned two company code. Uh, sorry, I have defined two plant. And if you click on this, here you can see now this plant are also because we have not assigned the storage location also. Because storage locations are created at plant level. So you can see first four digit is your plant code and last four digit is your storage location code. And these are the name of the storage location. Okay. So now I can see this is my plant and my storage locations. Now, next. Next is what? Assign. 
purchase organization to company code. So my plan, company code and plant assignment is done. If you want to check, you can check now. AD71, AD71, company code assigned to AD plant 1 and plant 2. Okay. Hope it's clear to everyone. Now come back. Next, minimize this. Now get into materials management tab. So click, in, click on this materials management and here first one is assign purchase organization to company code. So click on assign purchase organization to company code and you can see that this purchase organization is in gray mode but the company code is in edit mode. That means you can make the assignment here. And when you are getting the option to make the assignment here, you will not be getting the option of new entries to get into the new entries and make the assignment. Remember, now what should we do now? Click on position and search for the purchase organization, whatever you have created. So ADP0 was my purchase organization, which I had created in my previous videos. So I'll use my purchase organization. So whatever purchase organization you are creating, use that. Click on continue and now see for this ADGB purchase organization, my company code assignment status is does not exist. That means still the assignment is not done. Once the assignment will be done, this status will remove from here. So what will I assign now? My purchase organization to my company code. So what is my company code? My company code is AD71. And then press enter. So now see the status has been removed and then click on save. So that is how you can make the assignment of purchase organization to company code. Now come back and check your assignment. Just expand. You can see now purchase organization is also assigned to the company code. Okay. Now come back. So what is left from MM point of view? Assign purchase organization to plant. So click on this. Then I can see this is in gray mode. So go to new entries and enter your purchase organization. Now it will depend how many purchase organization you have and how many plant are there within that purchase organization. So how many operation plant operation are managed by one purchase organization. If purchase department is same, if there is only one purchase organization for both the plant, then select it as same and click on enter or press enter or click on save here and continue. So the data was saved now. Now come back. If I will refresh now, I can see now this purchase organization to assign to the plant as well. So this is how the MM enterprise structure end-to-end -end configuration completed. So when we work in the project along with this, we can see the sales structure as well because when we prepare the enterprise structure, everything is in uh, assigned with the company code. It can be your sales data, it can be your purchase data. So if you are making the assignment for sales and maybe there are so, so many uh, you know parameters which has to be defined from F, FI point of view, you can see, the, see those details also like controlling area or some other details. In the same way from the finance uh, point of view, they will have sales organization, sales area like that. So this is what I just wanted to discuss with you all. So just now we have completed SAP MM enterprise structure end to end in this 4HANA system. If you have any doubt, if you have any questions, please text me or put your comment. Thank you everyone. Thanks for joining this session.